हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल स्मूदिंग लाइफ ऑन द प्रीवियस डे आई हैड प्रिपेयर्ड नी अब अ वीडियो ऑन दिस वाज ऑलरेडी पुट अर्लियर सो नॉट रिपीटिंग From the time corona has started we take herbal tea in the morning for this i have taken pudina one piece of cinnamon two clove elaichi tulsi leaf and a piece of ginger i already have a herbal tea powder for more effect i am again adding all these ingredients this tea keeps away cold and cough try this and you are really going to love it boil all the ingredients along with tea powder as per your requirement add sugar boil on low flame for 2 minutes until the flavor of all the ingredients come out add milk and boil for one more minute so a tasty herbal tea is ready as usual cleaning all the leafy vegetables and storing it For today's lunch I had prepared kannur biryani again the recipe has been already put earlier check the description box for the recipe I had prepared the masala in a kadai so had put for them in the same kadai Nowadays a green tea for lunch and dinner is a must. In today's vlog I am adding videos which was taken on different days. I have combined all together and put it here. So moving on to another beautiful day. My crockery unit was a complete mess after Ramzan. So thought of cleaning and arranging it today. My son's favorite alu paratha is today's breakfast. For this I have taken normal atta, add salt and 2 tsp of oil, mix well. Once all the ingredient is combined together, add water and prepare a smooth dough.
I had these boiled potato in my fridge. I usually boil potato and store it. This potatoes stay fresh up to one week and can be used for various dishes. Since it is cold, I will microwave it for a minute. Now it has turned a bit soft. Smash it with your finger. Add ginger garlic paste, chili powder, coriander powder, garam masala powder, jeera powder, turmeric powder, salt, chopped coriander leaves, mix well, make balls out of it. So the stuffing is ready. Make balls out of the dough. Flatten it with your palm. Fill the stuffing and roll out. Tower fry by applying oil on both the side. Now this recipe is from my son. He had watched it in TikTok before the app was banned. After a long insist, finally I had to prepare for him. A very simple to do. Just crush the Oreo biscuit. Keep the wrap. Now fill the wrap with the crushed biscuit. Fill it with milk. I am using Boost. Insert candy stick at the center. Deep freeze for 5 to 6 hours. Once done, tear open the wrap. I have melted one pack of dairy milk, spread it on the Oreo ice cream. Top it with chopped almond. Try this, it is very tasty and kids will really love it. So another day with a DIY window curtain. I have this old sari of my aunt. I cut it according to the window measurement. Stitch on both the end. A wider fold on the top so that I can insert the curtain rod. With this material, I'll be making a curtain tie back. For this fold and stitch, keep
keep a hook at the end once stitched this is how the tie back looks now with this material i am going to make a rose so the rose is also done hand stitch on the tie back now a simple and fabulous window curtain is ready stick a hook on the wall and hang the curtain tie back so a diy tie back trending curtain is ready For today's lunch, I am going to prepare a simple chicken and potato curry. For this, I have taken leg piece, marinate it with Kashmiri chilli powder, lime juice, salt, garam masala powder, turmeric powder, jeera powder, coriander powder, and ginger garlic paste. Allow it to rest for five to ten minutes. add 2 to 3 tablespoon of oil to a kadai add little oil as the same oil will be used in preparing the gravy meanwhile make a paste with one large onion one medium sized tomato few pudina leaf coriander leaf two cloves one piece of cinnamon Now the masala is ready. In between preparing a ghee rice. Once the chicken is done remove and keep aside To the same oil pour the ground paste and fry Add salt as per taste and keep frying until the oil leaves the surface Once the oil gets separated, add two tablespoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of jeera powder, one fourth teaspoon of sorb powder, one fourth teaspoon of pepper powder, 
Fry for few seconds. Add enough water as per the gravy requirement. Add in the fried chicken piece and cook for 2 minutes. Now add potato pieces and wait until the potato is cooked. Once the potato is done, add few kasuri methi. Mix well. Now for the seasoning, add 2 tablespoon of oil to a pan, add half teaspoon of jeera. 2 green chilli, 3 dry red chillies, quarter teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder, pour it in the gravy, mix well, give a charcoal effect for a better flavour. So the chicken and potato gravy is also ready. This was my today's video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel. We will be back soon. Until then, bye and take care.